Sophia Survival and Scrappy Mania, and today we're going to create this lovely little card with just a couple of punches, some and some paper, and a card base. So what I'm going to be using for this card, and you'll see the product here, is a card base. And even though it has hearts, we are going to cover that up, and it's going to look marvelous. But uh, I got this kit or all these 60 sets of cards plus envelope at Michael's for um, $5 during the holidays. And then I have a panel that I cut five and a quarter by three and three fourths. And then I cut another panel which was three inches by three and a half and that's gonna be my cup. I'm using Stampin' Up! ink, a yellow ink for shading my bubbles. And then I'm using three different circle punch. I'm using one and one quarter punch from Stamping Up and I'm going to be using one inch punch and that is um, from Fiskars and then I'm using a half an inch punch from Stamping Up. So I'm going to punch out about three of the large circles and then I'm going to punch about five of the one inch circles. And then the then I'm gonna go ahead and punch. After I punch my five, I'm gonna go ahead and punch about eight of the half an inch circles. Those strips are one inch strip by three inches. And I went ahead and just cut a sliver off so that way because my beer or my mug is gonna be three inches by three and a half. And since I cut my three strips one inch. I did not want it to, um, I wanted a space in between each of the strips, so that's why I, I cut a sliver off. And I also went ahead and rounded the corners of all my strips and of my mug. I want to make a handle, so I went ahead and used this Fisker oval cutter. And I cut the the uh, the, the oval and then the, the, um, the outside oval. And when you put it behind the mug, it looks like a real handle. So now I'm just cutting down my strips to size. And I'm going to go ahead and I hear these with some wet adhesive. But before I hear it, I hear it, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my saying which says happy birthday. And I'm going to emboss it with some black embossing powder. And the reason why I want to emboss it is because when I did stamp on this glitter paper, you could not really read very well the happy birthday. So when I emboss it, it did make the letters pop more against the glitter and it really made it look nice. So I'm using some wet adhesive to put my strip down, but in hindsight, you'd be better off using some dry adhesive because the wet adhesive did cause my paper to kind of buckle a little bit which is fine but um especially if you if you make these cards and you want to sell these cards you really need to make sure that they're perfect and with the wet glue um it's okay to give away but um you really need the dry glue for it to lay flat on your panel. So because it's a, it buckled a little bit, I went ahead and used a brayer to flatten it down. And now I'm measuring with my Martha Stewart um, ruler in order to get it just perfect and centered on the front of my card front. So now I'm ready for my bubbles. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my Stampin' Up! ink and I'm just gonna put some ink around the edges with this foam applicator. And this is a Tim Holt um, foam applicator. And I love the one that it's circled, the circle one. It really works better than um, you know the regular traditional one that he had a long time ago. So I like this one better than my other foam applicator that I got from him. So I'm making sure I'm inking all the edges of all my bubbles and now I'm just gonna hear I hear them on the card and just I start with the larger 
bubbles first or circles first and then I go in with the medium size circles and I'm gonna finish it off with the smaller circles so I want to make it look random so that's why um, you can use a smaller circle to help you make it look a little more random so here's my card here's my second card I really love how these came out I hope you like it thank you for watching bye now Thank you.